good to be back on the farm, back again. Got everything I need to do done on this last trip. Damo's been rearranging the garden. Everything is looking very lush, very cared for. Whenever I go away, I don't know if she takes it as an opportunity to, to redo all the garden and indeed the kitchen. Every time I go away, she, she redoes the kitchen. I don't know what it is about me not being here, but she's put a little table and chairs in here. Some flowers. Little cat here. Planted some new veg. Hawaiian babies growing over here now. She put these covers on the front here. This on the worktop. It's one of my favorite plants, this one. This jungle plant. Also in the main cottage. She likes to decorate things with flowers in, inside, indoors. These plants here. All of these plants. Oh! What are you doing? Trying to get in? Green or dark green. Yeah. And put leaves on the trees like that. See? Oh, it's looking nice, Tess. The sass away. So I'm just introducing the young female for the first time to the two older males. She won't be able to stay out here because she's too small. I'm not sure how they're going to receive her. She's too small and the dogs might get her, so I need to get a little bit bigger first. Unfortunately, our last remaining chicken the dog also got. So this is the first introduction. She just needs a bit of out time. She's been locked up since she was a babe. So I don't want her to stay in all the time. They're curious to what's going on. I'm not sure what this behavior is. It's like it's just sitting in the mud, getting comfortable. So we've had some eucalyptus down in the storm and decided to cut the other in case it fell down itself. These are very fast growing, these eucalyptus. They're actually seen as pests in this area for some reason, but I think they're quite nice. I think they, they suck all the nutrients of the other plants.
Tessa taking a walk with the dogs. He's a little bit sick. Mommy's sick, isn't she? And of course the rains are here as well, which means that sometimes farm content can be a little bit difficult. You can't take the camera out in the rain and there's nothing much can be done in the rain. But today the rain has been and gone. So we can get out for a little bit of a walk. And Tish has been very busy at school. They keep them busy. And now they have a homework club, which they take a, a break during the day. One of the breaks they used to do the homework because he was coming home and he was doing like an hour's homework. And it was just too much. So now he does it at school, he just pay a little bit extra for homework club. And then he's got his free time back here. It's important to me that Tiss has his free time when he's not learning, because he's doing his piano lessons at weekend too. He's doing school through the week. So it's important that he has free time to be a kid, to play and to play with the other kids and run in the, in the mud. That's important, right? Daddy, come on, Look. Oh no. What is it, Tiss? Tis saved me! So life moves in waves, right? You get your good, your good waves, your bad waves. Times when you're really high. Times when you're really low. And I think I went through a low phase just a few months ago. It's going through the low phase and now I'm very much in my high phase. I love the high phase, but you gotta love the low phase too. Because it's all it's all purpose, right? It's all growth. But I'm really coming to that stage in life where I just don't give a shit anymore. I just don't give a shit. And by that I, I don't mean like a flippant I don't give a shit. Like ah I don't give a shit. It's more just like, nah, whatever happens, I'm just kind of cool with it. And we have our own little world here. It's none of the bullshit of the media and the lies and the, just the crap, the debate, the politics, the news stories about the same old boring issues. That's just the world stuff. What we're doing here is our little world. And there is no media in our world, and there is no bullshit, and there's no more lies in our world, you know. It's a little bubble, it's a bubble world of truth, where we all tell each other the truth. Daddy, it looks like it's cheating. Tiss, I want to ask you. What? Do we lie to each other? Hmm? Do we lie to each other? No. Why? Because we are best friends. Because we're best friends. We live in our little bubble. We have our little existence here. But sometimes it often feels like my only tether to the outer world is YouTube. And I've been thinking a lot about YouTube recently and the Hill Tribe vlogs I just released, to me they were very special. And they made me really think about this. Slowing down the pace of my vlogs. Sometimes you use a lot of like scene changes and fast stuff and catchy music and you do that for audience retention or to make the video exciting but there's an art in slowing down your content there's an art in slowing down are you doing some work some farming there's an art in slowing things down of course for your information vlogs you're not making them so artistic but for your for the life vlogs, slow things down. And I think a big part of this in the future is gonna be traveling with Otis and Damo and Hugo eventually, but some father-son travel, that's important to me. That's what I wanna be doing. I wanna see Thailand through his eyes. 
I've, I've seen it through my eyes, but I want to see it through his eyes all over again. The excitement, the beauty of the places, that's important to me. And honestly, I really do feel very blessed. Like no wonder, I mean, this is me in a very good mood, by the way. I'm very happy at the moment. It may not sound it, or what I'm talking about, but I'm really grateful. I'm blessed to have this time that I get to spend with my family. You know, every day. Okay, I go on these trips. They last, my trips usually last about seven days each time. But the rest of the time, I get to spend with these guys all the time. And that is a big, big blessing, guys. Because I know that on my deathbed, I'll be able to look back and think, well, spent as much time as I could with family and we did what we could and we were provided for and the universe helped us in that mission and Tiss when he gets older he'll be able to say yeah mum and dad were mum and dad were able to be around you get to spend a lot of time with mummy and daddy don't you yeah and I do find a geek do you think does that make you happy that you get to spend a lot of time with mummy and daddy yeah You know, it's doing his, his vlogs on the villages as well, and the people of Thailand. They're, they're so calm and slow in their hearts that I think it teaches me something to be quite calm and slow too. Thanks for joining today, guys. A bit all over the place, but uh, good catching up with you and some food for thought maybe it's just been a little bit of a vent for me this vlog not so much for you more for me so thanks for joining that's cool should we do it ooh, ooh, ooh. that's a good job hugo you're waving it like a oh very little cheeky very little cheeky aren't you oh you're waving it like a fan <laughs> Good job, kid. Good job.